This is a Dell PowerEdge R710 server. As you can see, it's 2U in height, and we currently have the, uh, the fascia plate in place on the front here. On the left hand side here is the lock, and uh, what you would normally do, uh, you would take the key here, which obviously wouldn't normally be stored on the front of the server, but you would lock it. So this fascia plate, as well as uh, being cosmetically um, pleasing, tidies up the front, makes it look quite nice. Uh, it does serve a practical purpose in as much that it stops um, anyone who shouldn't be having access to the um, one of the six hot pluggable SAS drives behind there from uh, getting getting access, pulling them out, uh, doing anything untoward. Also behind this fascia plate, as you'll see shortly, are two USB 2 ports. So this fascia plate also stops uh, access to that. So I'm just going to unlatch it here pull it off like so, okay, exposing uh, the six three and a half inch uh, hot pluggable drives behind it. Uh, you'll also see on the top right hand side here there's a CD slash DVD ROM drive. Uh, that is removable and on the left hand side here we've got the power button, two USB 2 ports, a video output port, uh, as well as this small LCD display. Now this LCD display here gives you a status update uh, on the server. So for example, if you had a failed power supply around the back there, that would come up on here indicating that you, know, you have a faulty power supply. Now this is kind of useful when you're in a sort of large data center environment where potentially you could have 20 of these or so in a rack. Uh, so by looking at the front it would uh, quickly and easily identify which of the servers uh, is having the problem. Now back to the drives here. So you'll see on the front of the drive here, um, this particular demo unit's got a pair of 146 gigabyte, 15,000 RPM SAS disks. So these are hot pluggable. You'll see on the left hand side of the drive here, there is a small orange circle. Now this orange circle indicates that it's hot pluggable. Now on the Dell Ranger servers, anything with an orange uh, tab on it, such as the, um, the uh, uh, hot pluggable SAS drive, also around the back there's a pair of um, power supplies they have an orange tag on there, so that indicates that they can be removed safely whilst the server still continues to run. Um, this is similar to the port wine colour that you see on the HP ProLiant Ranger servers uh, that also indicates that they, that particular component is, is hot pluggable. So if you just press the button on the front here, latch comes out, pull the drive out like so, thereby exposing just uh, your standard uh, three and a half inch SAS disk. So that easily slides back in again like so, Click back in place. So a uh, pair of discs there. Now just the just to the uh, left hand side is a piece of plastic that pulls out. That's kind of useful actually. Uh, more useful than it actually looks in as much that it contains all the service serial um, information as well as that. It's also got the MAC address of the um, uh, onboard um, uh, NICs. So that's the front of the Dell PowerEdge R710 server. Uh, nice clean interface uh, on the, or, or uh, sorry layout on the front there. Combine that with the uh, rather smart looking fascia on there, with lockable uh, feature, makes for a nice uh, secure server. Here we have the Dell PowerEdge R710 server with the top cover removed. Now you'll see the LCD display down here. Just behind there, inside the case, is an internal USB uh, port. Now this internal USB port could be used to house a uh, USB pen drive which would contain, for example, a hypervisor. Uh, companies such as VMware provide hypervisors um, uh, on this format, for example ESXi. Uh, so what you'd do, you'd have your uh, USB pen drive, obviously, with something like an ESXi on there, insert it onto there, change the boot priority within the um, BIOS of the server, um, thereby providing a nice, quick, easy way to um, have the server boot on your um, preferred hypervisor. Now, just to the left-hand side of that is the uh, an SD port. Now, over here we've got brackets. There's an optional uh, module that this demo unit didn't come with, but would slot in there and would provide you with um, some nice high-speed uh, storage. So uh, that's the SD uh, module there. Just behind there, you will see this small black box, which many of you are probably familiar with. That's actually a battery, and it provides the battery for the right cache of the PERT controller just at the back of the server down here. So there's a cable 
comes out of the back there, runs the length of the server into the uh, into the battery there. So just over here we have the um, CD slash DVD optical drive. Uh, that is removable, um, but uh, for the purposes of this review, we'll uh, keep it in place there. Okay, heading back about halfway down the server here, you'll see there's four orange pans like so. Um, now, as previously mentioned, the orange colour within the Dell servers here means that it is hot pluggable and can be removed whilst the server is up and running. Um, so uh, that will slide back in like so. The uh, the feel of it is uh, is good, clicks back in nice and easily like you hear there. Um, and as with the uh, servers and years uh, Dell servers, sorry, uh, in years gone past. The, the the quality of the server is is so much better. There's no burrs on the uh, on the metalwork. Uh, it has a real good good solid feel to it, and uh, the plastic definitely doesn't feel cheap at all, uh, and is of a good build quality. Now you'll see the uh, the four fans there on the far right hand side here. We just have a blanking plate. Uh, that's obviously for an additional fan, uh, which would be an optional extra, and just. Behind there we have a, uh, a large baffling uh, which obviously directs the flow of air within the server when it's running. Uh, once again, um, built out of a very good plastic, remove that like so. And that's, uh, you can see here there's two physical sockets. Uh, this particular demo unit only has a single physical CPU on there, uh, but there is obviously space for a second one. Either, either side of these CPUs there are nine dim sockets giving a total of 18 sockets in total. So you could heavily load this uh, this particular server, um, which would give it very good application for um, virtualization products, uh, once again, such as VMware ESX or ESXi, uh, Zen Server, or um, Microsoft Hyper-V. So uh, you can pack out the server with a, with a decent amount of memory. And then just heading back here, we've got the uh, PERC Array Controller card. The cable was mentioned before for the uh, battery backed right cache, um, and a couple of ports coming off there, which lead to the front the uh, the hot pluggable drive bays there. So that uh, the PERC controller is just inserted into the um, the first of two riser cards here. So you've got riser one. There's two PCI E slots there, um, and just over the back here is the second riser card. Two PCI E slots there as well. So um, they in turn go to four in total uh, full height uh, PCI slots on the back of the server there. Okay, just looking down here you'll see there's a couple of uh, Broadcon chips. Now those two chips there, they provide the um, connectivity I guess off the system board to the four one gigabit uh, network um, interfaces on the back that you can see there. So they're all gigabit Broadcom, uh, so uh, Compatibility with uh, whatever you decide to run on here should be good uh, in true Broadcom fashion. So just looking at the back here, here we go, here's the orange uh, tags again, meaning that they are hot pluggable. So we just pull that in, that's the two power supplies, like so. Now each power supply is 870 watts, so uh, that's that's quite a bit of uh, quite quite a Quite hefty power supplies there, so uh, you know you could imagine the server fully loaded with all the memories, um, all the memory bays um, populated, all the drive bays populated, and uh, yeah, I mean this, this, the power supply shouldn't break into uh, too much of a sweat over that. But uh, as mentioned, hot pluggable, and looking on the back here, the other things we have on the far left here, there is a ILO port, so that provides you sort of a lights out capability, um, similar to the uh, HP ILO. Um, there's a serial port, monitor port, and two USB 2 ports there again. So, that's the uh, very quick summary and overview of the Dell PowerEdge R710. As mentioned, um, quite impressed with the build quality on it. No sharp burrs. The plastic used is, uh, definitely doesn't have a cheap feel to it. Um, and uh, all round, first impression of it. Very, very good server, very good build.